All right, guys. Welcome to the second ever episode of Dope Talk TV. It's your boy Low Key. Got my brother John here. Got my brother Pedro here. Got Kevin here. Gio here. You know what I'm saying? We in this. What's going on? What's going on, guys? Shout out to the viewership. Shout out to the second time listeners. Shout out to the first time and last time listeners. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna have those come through too. But uh, yeah, man. We chilling. We cooling. We uh, we're vibing. We and we're here with we, another episode. We got some things to talk about. Oh, that's for sure, bro. <laughs> we, got, we got a few things to talk about, man. Some yeah. serious shit, too. Like. Yeah, yeah. And there's some funny things, but then there's some serious things that, that are going on in the world. And, you know, this one of those main topics is, you know, what was it? This El, El Paso, Texas shooting? That's one of them. The El Paso, Texas shooting, man. That happened today. That's you know? crazy. Rest in peace to all the victims. Rest in peace to, you know what I mean, everybody that was involved, uh... Condolences go out to the families of everybody affected. Um, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. How you, you go? You go into Walmart. You just buying. You buying regular groceries. You're going and you're minding your own business, and you're just buying. You're buying regular stuff. And right. You're going it's in a there, regular day. It's a regular day. And that's the thing that a lot of people don't understand, bro. Now most of this stuff happens in the blink of an eye. It's a regular day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like. I saw pictures of people hiding behind like the toilet paper, like, bro, they were they were just like hiding in different aisles, and I was just like, bro, like that's that's sad, that's sad, man. Like you can't even go to a grocery store. I had one of my buddies tell me that they had to buy their kid a bulletproof backpack just to go to school. Like, I mean, it, it's getting ridiculous. I feel like it's getting yeah, out Gio, of hand now. Yeah, Gio, you say your brother bought bought somebody was, a bulletproof backpack? It was Gio, right? Yeah, yeah, my brother, my brother. That's crazy, bro. That's, Listen, the cameraman's brother bought. Their kid a bulletproof backpack. And that's the times that we live in today, man. You gotta buy your fucking kids a bulletproof, a bulletproof backpack in order th in order for you to feel safe enough to let them go to school, man. Like, and then you don't want to send your kids to private school because it's just like you know, it's just different. I feel like it's different than public schools. I feel like you go through certain things as a kid when you go when you're in public school. I feel like. There's different things that happen, you know, in private school, especially if you're. Oh, OK. I feel like, you know, private school is a little bit different than public schools. Um, you know, me personally, I'm going to put my kid in public schools. That's just how it is. Like, right. No, I, I, I agree, man. I feel that I feel that public schools give you a, a certain <laughs> edge. You know what I'm saying? They give you a certain edge to where. It just. I don't know, man. It teaches you both sides of life. I feel like you're too sheltered when you go to a, to a, a private school. You know what I mean? Yeah, especially it's, it's like it's like the homeschooling, right? Like you know, homeschooling. Like you, your kid is just gonna come out and he's not even gonna go through certain situations. Maybe being made fun of, you know, certain things like that. And you know, you kind of have to build and learn how to like you know, be a stronger person. But like in private school, you're more sheltered, so it's like you know, it's. Right, everything is more things, controlled, yeah. I believe, too. Yeah. I mean, I feel like, like there's a, like you got to think about it, man. There's a lot of kids that go to private schools that never been in a fight, bro. Yeah, like to me, like, I, I, like as you need to at least get into a couple yeah, tussles, man, yeah, man. For you to be ready for the real world, bro, yeah. you're gonna get punched in the mouth figuratively. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you should get punched in the mouth literally while you're growing up for you to understand, like, bro, everything isn't sweet. Yeah. Sometimes you're gonna get punched in the mouth, but it's not about getting punched in the mouth. It's about hitting back. Yeah, st standing stand on it up for toes. yourself. Yeah, yeah. It exactly. doesn't matter if you win or lose. At least you stood up for yourself. Exactly. You didn't have bro. nobody else fight your battles and whatnot. But um. But yeah, man. Let's get deeper into this, bro. The yeah. fact that 18 people got shot. <laughs> That's not even funny. But it's nah, just. Nah, it's not funny at all. The fact ain't. that 18 people went to Walmart, bro, yeah. to get on a regular day to get some regular shit for their household with their families, and this happens. In a state, especially in El it's Paso, open, Texas. It's an open carry state. Right. It's an open carry state. Where were state. the people with the guns? That's my question. Right. I mean, I understand that there's people in the waste. You know, there's kids running around. It's mayhem. It's chaos, whatever. But come on, man. Somebody, somebody had to have seen the guy. Somebody probably had a shot at the guy. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes overthinking in the moment could fuck up, could, could fuck something up. You know what I mean? Like. I just don't get it. Like, I mean, if it's an open carry state, you would expect somebody to shoot the guy. I mean, it, well, how many guys was it? It was one guy? Yeah, bro. One guy. One guy. One yet, guy. It's ridiculous, man. Like, I don't... And then the fact that he got away, too. That's the, that's the crazy... Oh, he got part. away. 
The he, fact that he's not caught. He got away. That's some wild shit to me, bro. Like, listen, man. God bless. God bless everybody that was affected. God bless the families that, yeah. that you know. And people ask me, why, yo, why, why you carry guns? Why, right. Why are you so scared? I'm not being scared. Nah, man. It's just, look, things are happening in the world that they shouldn't be happening, you know? And it's kind of like, you got to be prepared. For that situation, you only got one life. You, you it's just be like a parachute. Sorry, bro. It, it's a parachute. You right. know, it's good to have it. Exactly. Maybe a double, like maybe an extra one, because right. people come with two. You never know. You might need two pistols that day. You never know. That's like, true, man. Seriously, it's crazy. The, listen, man. That people call it paranoid. People call it whatever. But at the end of the day, it's better to be safe than sorry. It's better to be, you know, ca- uh, judged by twelve than be carried by, by six. six. You know what I'm saying? That that's one of my favorite sayings ever. It's better to be judged by 12 than carried by 6. And I live by that, man. <coughs> like, seriously, man. Like, you, 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 could go, you could go to a courtroom. You could go to a courtroom and, you know, be alive. Like, like you could go through that and, and learn, learn from it and gain experience and, and be good. You, you can't come back from being put six feet under. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's done. It's either you protect yourself at that very moment or you just get killed. And that's it. And you, nah, there, there's no reset button. This is not GTA. This you know what go, I mean? It's kind of like, yeah. Going back, it ties in perfectly with this. You know how much criticism, you remember how much criticism the baby got? You remember that shit? Yeah. Like when he shot that guy in Walmart, everybody was like, oh, what the fuck? Like, listen, man, he, his family could have been a victim that day. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like his, his family could have been the ones in a predicament where they're saying RIP whoever because he didn't have a gun on him or whatever. And that was in the middle of a Walmart as well. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's that, crazy to me. It, it's crazy to me that you can't go anywhere safe now, bro. No, nah, you can't even go to a Walmart. You can't go to your school, man. You can't even go to the library. You know, Nowhere, you bro. can't even go to the airports. It's like, bro, you can't even take a family vacation. And it's like, bro, it's sad, man. But at the like, same time, we got to take that with a grain of salt and understand that, like, we can't be scared of life, bro. Yeah. We can't be scared of like going somewhere because like, oh this might happen th- that might happen, bro. There, y- y'all remember a few years back that guy was uh he took a nap at his house and fell in a hundred foot fucking sinkhole. You could take a nap at your house and fall in a sinkhole I, I and think, fucking I, I die. Think, I think bro. he died. Yeah. Yeah, like he wasn't found. That's crazy. <clears throat> like so you can't. Like, just because of all this crazy shit's going on and all this other stuff in the world's going on, bro, you can't be scared to live your life. You know nah, what I mean? Real. Stay safe, though. Take precautions. Go. You know what I'm saying? Take precautions to keep yourself safe, keep your family safe, and, and you know what I mean? Just secure the bag. Secure your family. Secure the well-being of your loved ones because it's crazy out here, man. You just never know. It's crazy you out here. You just never know. That's sad, man. But uh, on to the next topic, man. You know, there was another couple of things we wanted to speak. Ah, I can't even talk. Going back. There was a couple other things we had to speak about. Um, and that was part of... Hold on. I think I just dropped the chair. Fucking rug. Come on, don't kill me. My bad. Sorry, Ma. But, uh... <laughs> we in there. No shit, Kevin. Uh, so there was a couple more things for the next topic that we wanted to speak about. Uh, was that prostitution sting, man? Human trafficking. We talking about doctors. We talking about people active military. Listen, man. Before we surgeons. before we start naming off everybody, like let let's read a little bit about it, man. Like let let's let's dive deeper into it so that the listeners out here watching or whatever the the people that may not know what's going on. Could get a better feel for it, cause that's some crazy shit. No, I mean it, it. This is exactly what it's telling me. It's saying doctors and cops among 277 arrested in human trafficking and online prostitution sting. Human trafficking and online prostitution. We're talking about undercover operation as doctors, pharmacists, and former current law enforcement lo- um, law officers. Mm. I mean, you got you got so many different people that just got caught in this. It kind of makes you think, like, man, the world is just really, it's not safe. Who the fuck can you trust, bro? It's tell- You catch <laughs> some cancer. You catch some cancer, my nigga. Bro. And you can't even go trust your fucking cancer surgeon. I don't even want to go to the doctor and fucking, get a checkup. That nigga yeah. might ship your ass off to wherever the fuck. 
as a, for some human trafficking to sell your fucking organs or some crazy shit. <laughs> like, bro. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. And they're talking about a cancer surgeon in Tampa. And we're talking like not a even two hours surgeon away. surgeon in Tampa. That's two hours Florida. away. That's not even two hours away, bro. That's ridiculous. That's crazy. Man. That's like, that's crazy. That's crazy. Fuck it just man. makes you think like you can't even you can't trust no doctor, no nurse. You can't even trust no anybody. No sheriff. There was a deputy, wasn't there? That was a Broward County deputy. Pediatrician. A fucking pediatrician. A pediatrician. They deal with your children. I know. A pediatrician. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that there was child trafficking going on in that case somewhere. That's crazy. That's insane. That is insane. Child trafficking going on. <sighs> Pediatricians involved. That's fucking wild, man. I mean, I don't like, know. We can't I, say that because it didn't say that. But I'm pretty sure if there's human trafficking going on and all these people with that much power are involved, there has to be some type there has to be some type of child trafficking going on, bro. Yeah. Like that's that's kind of out of hand. But the fact that that yeah. colonel the U.S. colonel for what the the Navy or they said or some yeah, shit. Yeah, we had we had an active colonel in the U.S. Marine, and also the a worst active... part about it was a teacher. Mm. A, a teacher. teacher, somebody that's with the kid every single they might have day. Put, they might have put that person. They might have. They could have put. They could have put them in a place to recruit. Yeah, you know where they're like, hey, well, keep an eye out for this type of person or whatever the fuck. That's, That's crazy, like a teacher. Bro. Somebody could have just guided the kid into a random guy's car at, at, at you know, family pickup, you know, right. whatever. The parent pickup. Right. And nobody would have and ever heard from that kid again. And who the fuck would suspect the teacher, bro? How old is the kid? I mean, what, what age are we talking? Like, what age group? Because, I mean, if it's elementary... That that's just that's crazy. At any age, it's crazy. Yeah, at, at any case, at any yeah. age, it's crazy. But yeah. I feel you. Bro. You see what I'm at saying? Elementary yeah. school. Because they, 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 they don't have they don't have a they don't have a you know they 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 don't know what they're doing yet. They don't know what's going on with the world. They don't know what's bad and, and what's good yet. Right. You know. So it it makes you think and it, it scares you. Can I really trust my my teacher? You, you can't know, my, trust a fucking my soul, kids man. teacher that I leave with every single day. You can't. As sad, as sad as it is to say nowadays, like that same teacher it, it might be the one. It makes you think I never thought about it like that, though. That's the thing. I never thought about, it's you sad, know, bro. it's sad. I can't I can't even, it just blows my mind how the world is, is turning, you know? So, um, and that's not even half of the list, man. Let's keep going through it. Let's Because this is some crazy shit, man. People need to know about this, for real, for real. Like, people just glance over like shit. Who, who's, like, like, who's funding it? Like, that. that's, facts. like, like, you got so many high-end high up people you know people with a lot of responsibility right and they're just people with a lot of responsibility and people with a lot of funding behind them as it is you see what i mean so that makes me question like bro are it was the cancer surgeon getting paid a percentage from the hospital for this or was was yeah. this you it was the u.s marine how colonel, many people died family members how many people, people. went missing yeah and from where there, bro, so many people go missing across the United States every year that never want, nobody ever finds. Like, how many people from our community went missing dealing with these people? You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. That's some crazy shit to think about, bro. Yeah, it's 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 really sad, man. And then when you see, you know, Air Force veterans, you got a retired Broward County deputy sheriff. So listen to this. People, people in Florida, man. People in Florida. Like. A Tampa fucking surgeon. A surgeon in Tampa and a Broward County deputy. Whether they're retired or active, regardless. A Broward County deputy involved in this. It makes you think, like, I can't trust no cop. Bro, you could get fucking arrested one day and never fucking be seen again. Never. You'll be cuffed and they'll... Ex wow. Ain't that some crazy shit to think about? You get about? arrested and you're not even going to the jail. You're going you somewhere that no fuck. one even knows where you're going. You're going in the back of a fucking crate. <laughs> <laughs> and you're being sent... You're going in the back of a sent. fucking crate, bro. You know? You're being sent everywhere. Like, it could be anywhere. You could be nah, sent man. overseas... You could be sent. You could be chopped the fuck up and sold for parts, man. Yeah. 
it's it's it's, it's crazy. a crazy game in the in that in that human trafficking. There's a lot shit, of bro. money. There's a, there's a lot of money involved in that too. And money I, makes every, the yeah. world go round. That's yeah. why. That's why what you just asked is so vital and so important to the whole equation. Like, yeah. who the fuck is funding this? Who? Facts. Who's funding this? I want to know who's funding. Y'all this. go down in the comments, man, and let us know who the fuck y'all think is funding Yo, who's, this, man. Who's really funding this? That's that's my. That's the main question. That, you you know? gotta get to the source. You and the worst saying? part about it is, they found an active duty officer active for duty the colonel. same county, the same place where they oh, were doing oh, the under. Broward? Oh no, they're talking about. He did seventeen years. Seventeen years. He was a sergeant. Mm. What was he arrested for? And he made a deal for a hundred dollars for sex. That's what he was arrested for? That's what he was arrested for. 17 years for that? 17 years. Damn. Hey, y'all boys be careful out there. Taking a bitch on a date for $60. She might fuck around and lock your ass up for 20 years. But not yeah. for real. Back, back to the shits for real. Like, nah, I mean, it, it, I think they they slapped him on. They didn't do no slap on the wrist. You know, they, they really say, yo, okay. He But he got caught for that crime while he was active. Was he active in the military yeah. at that time? No, no. The, yeah, absolutely. This guy was an active sergeant in the police, in the sheriff's office, in the same sheriff's office where they got caught. Mm. Like the same department. The Broward County Sheriff's The office. same department, the same people that made the, the sting. It was one of their own. Wow. So he got caught by Breaking his news, own Polk County people. Sheriff caught one of his sergeants. Mm. Bruh. That's scary, man. The people and the sergeant is high been, up. He might have been you the know? sacrificial lamb, bro. There might be something deeper going on in that sheriff's office. Than what and they might have been like, you know what? Yeah. We got to get this dude out of here. We, he got to be the one to take the fall before this shit gets too out of hand. It gets too crazy. That's crazy, man. Bro, people don't think I'm, about that, though. You know? People was like, you listen, know, they, man, they see a police officer. People out they, here, look, I understand... I, I'm only 25. I understand we live in a generation and in a society now where everybody wants to be on social media and this and that, chat back and forth online and go meet up with people you probably never met. Bro, you can't trust everybody. You can't trust damn near anybody. Like, look at this story that we're bringing to y'all and really think about the people involved in this. Yeah. That's insane. It's people that it's you pro much. you probably go and thank this guy seeing him at the mall. You see what I'm saying? This U this active Just, U.S. colonel yeah. for the Marines. You might see him and be like, "Hey, yep. thank you for your duty. Fact. Thank you for your duty." Yeah. But at the end of the day, that dude might be the same guy that his duty his duty really is trafficking humans for whatever reason. He's getting it may paid. Be. That's why he stayed in the service for so long. Just just to do that. Imagine. I mean, that's ridiculous, brother. It, it it blows my mind, man. It blows my mind. The fact that anybody could do this, but not just anybody. The fact that active people with uh, what you said hit it right on the head, bro. People with so much responsibility, people that are in charge of other people's lives, people that are in charge of other people's children, yeah. teachers, sheriffs, doctors, doctors, surgeons, people that are saving people's lives. You know, maybe there was a surgery that, you Maybe know, there was a surgery where the person didn't make it. Exactly. Didn't make it. Because. Didn't make it. Whatever was needed you know? for whoever the fuck. A spleen, a liver. You know what I mean? Yeah. I it, don't know, man. I, at the end of the day, it, it's crazy. It's crazy to even think about, man. It's crazy. Let's not, let's not even get into the, the pharmaceutical part of it. Because, I mean. Wait, that, what do you mean? What do you mean? What? The pharmaceutical part of it. What I mean, mean, like, let's talk about all the medications that, the, you know, they're, they're making, you know? People think, like, okay, people are not dying from that. People are not getting addicted to that. Like, there's no drugs in there. That's really, yeah. you know what You're I mean? talking about, like, the shit that, yeah, man, all like, these blood pressure, whatever the fuck. There's pills out here that fuck you up little by little. And just because they're not, you know, looked at as dangerous, people don't really take them as dangerous. Yeah. But... Nah, bro. At the end of the day, man, like that, this whole fucking situation. I don't know, bro. This is kind of a grim podcast, bro. The fucking El Paso shooting. A lot rest of bad. In peace a to lot all of the bad 18, things. Rest, you know. Yeah. My condolences go out to all the family once again. 
My condolences go out to all the families, everybody affected by that, man. That's not an easy call to get. That's not an easy call to get as a as a parent, as a brother, yeah. as an uncle, as any type of family <coughs> relative. That's not an easy call to get. So, <coughs> oh, man, what the fuck? Let's, man, let's sip to this, bro. That's <coughs> fucking crazy. That's crazy. That's for, Imagine losing your little brother. Just because your mom wanted to go grab some groceries, whatever. But it's not the mom's but fault. Ain't nobody's fault. That's what I'm, No, it's yeah. the one motherfucker's it's, fault that ran it's in. It's obviously there. that guy's. Yeah, it's, it's that guy's fault. You know fault. what I mean? Yeah. Like, but it's crazy, bro. It, it it just it goes to show like you're not safe anywhere. You can't trust nobody. That's pretty much the consensus of the whole fucking yeah. podcast. Is you're not safe anywhere. You can't trust anybody. You can't go into a, into a fucking Walmart to get whatever the fuck to get an air freshener and a goddamn box of diapers and a pizza for the night. You can't do that safely. You can't whatever like it. You can't go trust your fucking doctor. You can't trust so your who, doctor. So so who do you go to? That's the question, man. That's a lingering question. Who do you go fucking Geo? Shut your ass up, <laughs> this nigga. We love this guy. Hey, yeah, but, hey, yo, y'all heard him. Go to Geo. Shout but out, not, Gio. <laughs> but not for real. Nah, who, that's a good question. Who do you go to? Who do you go to? It's sad to think about, man. But honestly, I don't think there's anybody you can go to. Honestly, yeah. Like you, the only people you can go to are the people around you that prove to you that they, you know. They care about you. Because everybody has a different alternative for being around you. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has a different reason for wanting to be around you. There's some people that actually care. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you got to pick those people out of the crowd. Mm-hmm. That's why I tell y'all boys all the time. Like, you fucking Trey, shout out fucking Toby. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Fast. Shout out Santo. Shout out all my boys, bro. Fast. All my brothers, bro. Like, regardless of what we go through, man, don't, they're my brothers, bro. For real, for real. So yeah. it's like... You just got to pick the select few that you really fucks with and just run it like that, man. Just do what you do. Run yeah. it like that. For real. But, yeah, man. Bad. That's pretty much the consensus of the podcast. You know what I mean? Uh, rest in peace to all the, you know, for the third time, rest in peace to everybody affected. Rest in peace to all the people that lost their lives today just having a regular day. Yeah. And, just regular day, going to Walmart. You know, just watch out, watch, watch out for the, you know, watch out for everybody. Watch out for your doctor. Just watch, watch out. Just watch out for yeah. your surroundings. Watch out. Keep an eye open. Don't be, don't yeah. be oblivious to things. Yeah. If you see something, you know, that's not right, it usually isn't. It usually. If you got to think, if you got to think about it twice, then you shouldn't do it. That's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah. That's a fact. If you got to think about it twice, you shouldn't do it. That's a good one, bro. Because things that come naturally, you don't think about it. You don't think about it. You just yeah. do it. Yep. But, yeah, stop trusting everybody, man. Stop stop letting these doctors prescribe you all types of shit. Question it, man. Be like, hey, I don't need all this. I don't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't, don't just think that the doctor's a doctor and he's right. Because they might be running an experiment low-key on your ass. They might be running an experiment. You know nothing about You don't about even it. know. They just tried a new medication. They're going to get, you know, a, a cut out of it, you know? Right. And they want to test it on you. That's a fact. That's a fact. Because so, every doctor that sells a certain type of prescription pill, yeah. they get a cut from it. Yeah. They get a, they get a percentage of that. Facts. So don't ever think that your doctor is just trying to look out for your best interest and that's the only thing because a lot of them are, but there's a lot of them that aren't. There's a lot of them that are just there to make their money, prescribe you some shit, and 10 years later, you'll see the commercial on TV if you ever tried whatever the fuck and your fucking asshole's falling out or whatever. Like, hey. some crazy shit, bro. Something. Yeah, like, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Don't trust your doctors. Question everything, man. That that's that's what you guys should take from this podcast. Question everything, bro. Question everything. Don't just assume. Yeah, don't assume. Don't be gullible. You know what I mean? And just stay just stay woke.
Just stay woke. That's it. Just be aware. Yeah, bro. Be aware of, be of what's aware, going bro. around. Like that's crazy, bro. It's a crazy but let, world. Man, fuck that. Let's let's move on to something a little bit more. You know what I mean? I mean livelihood. What happened? Well, <laughs> what happened with that kid that had like five hundred teeth or some crazy? Oh shit? yeah, there was a kid with five hundred and twenty-six teeth. Five pulled out. <laughs> <laughs> first of all, first hey, of all, bro, hold on. Lie, that's kind of the craziest thing I've ever heard in my life. Sharp that's definitely for real. That's definitely incest. That's sh- you th- you think so? No, it has to be. Yeah, has you're to right. be. Where, what's what's the state, man? Look it up. I'm sorry, not to be prejudiced, not to be racist or anything. Uh, okay. I don't want anybody to think that there's a podcast that just starts hating people. But what state did this happen in? Because if it happened in like Idaho or like some shit like that, this is definitely incest. No offense. Okay, surgeons in India removed more than 500 teeth in a boy. Jesus. Yeah. A seven-year-old. A seven-year-old shark That's boy. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> I mean, Imagine he was discharged up. after three days. <laughs> Boy, you got hey, some bro. balls. Hey, bro. Imagine going Because I got my fucking... fourth. I got four teeth pulled out, and I felt like, a, I don't know. Imagine I felt real going bad. to the fucking dentist. 526. No, 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 John, listen to me, bro. Imagine going to the dentist and finding <laughs> out your fucking kid has 526 <laughs> goddamn teeth. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do, bro. I'm going to feel really... Oh, like... I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where's the trash can? No, I'm just fucking... <laughs> I'm fucking nah, around. But bro. hey, hey, no. Nah, hey, yeah. I apologize for that comment. I don't know about, want nobody taking it serious, man. Nah, we man, just chilling, talking that's, shit. That's crazy, though. But now nah, that's crazy, bro. Yeah, like, 526? That, I mean... That has to be some type of mutation, bro. That has to be some type of mutation. Nah, that's just... It sounds painful. That's... <laughs> <laughs> it does sound painful. Uh, God damn, 526 teeth, man. Hey, take care of y'all teeth, man. God damn. <laughs> take care of your teeth, bro. Floss. Nah, but that has to be genetic. Uh, yeah, it's genetic. Each parent has to have like 200 <laughs> teeth. <laughs> <laughs> On the low. Each Yo, it like said that teeth. the boy had a well defined bag like mass extracted from his jaw. So it was like. Which. It, it, it weighed was a, seven ounces. It was a bag full of teeth? <laughs> it was continued as hundreds of miniature teeth. No, no, no. You didn't hear what my question. What? He had a bag full of teeth in his mouth? It said the boy had a well-defined bag like mass extracted from his jaw. Yeah, we're laughing at shit, but that shit might be like cancer. So it was like shit. a whole bunch of shit in one. It was like, it wasn't like... It was like, I don't know, all grown in one spot. So they had to get it surgically removed. Well, listen, yeah. we made a joke out of that shit, but that shit ain't a joke either, man. Yo, did, I mean. Look, shout out to everybody listening. Shout out to all the viewers nah, that enjoyed it, that liked it, subscribed, the people that saw us for the first shit. time and messed with us and are back here for the second time. Shout out to everybody. Um, our condolences as a unit Our condolences go out to everybody Affected by that mass shooting today In El Paso, Texas Not uh, We wish nothing but the best uh, For those families affected um, Yeah man And and that that kid too man We made a joke out of it But yeah, God nah. bless but that yeah, child bro, man, he got, That's crazy I wouldn't be able to do it That's like, wild 500? No, I'm not even going to get back into it I mean but, as a kid yeah, you might not yeah. realize it But in high school You're definitely going to get into some fights about that shit that's crazy. For real. But, yeah, man. It's been yours truly, low-key. Yo, it's John, bro. And we out this motherfucker, man. Yeah, yeah.